everyone so this is my first time doing a get ready with me video I have no makeup on at all I'm gonna use my pons and this is just because um obviously I have dry skin so I just want to use it and I have a lot <laughs> uh, for my makeup forever this is not the makeup forever that I'm gonna use the foundation foundation but I love to use a sample but because this foundation is not as fluid as the Makeup Forever, I prefer using that one. Okay, next step after I have my cream is my Fix Plus. I love this one. Yeah, so here we go. I'm not gonna open my mouth. Make sure that everywhere is, and I'm mixing the cream with the Fix Plus after that. I already have my beauty blender and I already wet it so I'm going to use <laughs> so right now I'm just gonna apply my foundation and this one is the MAC Pro Longwear it's an NC30 it's a little too light for me but I warm it up with my powder and NC35 and then if I want to um, warm up more my skin my skin tone <laughs> then I would apply bronzer so here we go uh, I'm just gonna apply I like to do for me, I prefer one pump at a time, like I do half of my face, um, yeah, like I was saying. But I'm going to use a mirror because <laughs> it will be easier for me. Whenever I film, this is the foundation I use. There were two videos that I used, the Makeup Fairy, and, and I prefer this one over that one. But it all depends what you like, I feel. So here we go, second pump. And I'm just gonna go to this side. Make sure that you ladies are watching me as I'm doing this. Okay. And of course you have to bounce. <laughs> you have to put it in your neck as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. And I have two concealers that I like to use for when I film. And it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This one is in medium. And then I love to use this one as well. Well, not really love it, love it. But I like it enough. Um, this one is in light medium. It's the Revlon Photo Ready HD Concealer now. The first one that I applied is the Instant Age Rewind. Okay, so. And I have a sunspot right here. So I'm just going to see if... It has diminished because I was using the L'Oreal, the serum that they had, the one that I haul my Target haul. I think it was last year. And that one was good. So yeah, there you go. And I'm playing very, I'm being very generous because this is going to go on top too. So yeah, if it looks a little crazy, it's because of that. So then I'm just going to get the other end of the beauty blender, the pointy tip, and I'm just going to bounce again. <laughs> and I like to take whatever remains from here, I like to take it on the top too. Do you see that? makes a huge difference once you apply concealer. Okay. And I have very, like really bad under eyes. It's crazy. I always had that. Ever since I was a little girl. So I have to use a lot of concealer. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Next thing I'm going to apply is the, the second concealer. For right now, usually, let me tell you. If I'm just going to go out and I'm not going to film, I only use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't use this one. This is the second step do i really need the second step not really but uh i like to apply a little bit more for my because i noticed that you can tell in my videos they have really bad under eyes I, I don't know, i'm very self-conscious about that yeah this is me so again with the beauty blender and i'm just gonna make sure that I, it's really nice so really what I'm doing is is pressing, bouncing, but also pressing it in there so it can stay in there. I don't know if you can tell. 
so there you go so that's one eye yeah and then the second eye <laughs> so as I don't know if you the ladies can tell I went to cut my hair I went what was it it wasn't yesterday it was the day before yesterday I think it was yeah the day before yesterday and I went to the mall <laughs> but I didn't go to you know to real fancy salon I just went to JCPenney <laughs> yeah they have good hairstylists there okay so I'm done with the beauty blender so then you're gonna let it air dry that's what I do I like to make sure it sinks into my skin and I just go like this for a little bit foundation and my concealer has set in I love to use the studio fix by Mac it's very nice go in there just grab a little bit of product like so and you know you see how I did that look on my hand and then I was talking to my hairstylist about how I wanted to go with my hair and I didn't know who I wanted because I just went out on a limb okay so after I applied all my powder then what I'm gonna do is all over my face I'm just going to set my concealer because it really sinked into my skin so I'm just going to use a fluffy brush this by Sedona Lace I really want the Real Techniques setting brush but I need to go to Walgreens for that or Ulta or something so here you go the Ben 9 Ben 9 Luxury Banana Powder okay here you go just applies very lightly I feel okay so here we go I'm just going to set my concealer. The thing with the Revlon concealer, I feel, is that it can crease on you. So, yeah, I'm just using it up. But after I'm done with it, then I'm going to buy the, the MAC Pro Long. So then after that, I'm going to use my Remo Stay Matte Powder in Sandstorm. And the reason I'm using it is because I notice in some of my videos right here, in my cheeks like oily so I'm just gonna put some right there the next thing that I'm gonna do is my bronzer I have two favorites I have the Tarte this is the Park Avenue Princess it's right here and I love to use my small angled brush this one is by Sedona Lace but if you have any angled brush it would do it would do okay so you can tell that I'm using it up so I don't contour that much. I want to contour my cheeks. I go in with the tart again and then <laughs> lots of powder. And right here is where my jaw bone structure is. So that's where I put, I deposit most of the bronzer. And then I'm just going to go in like so. Next thing that I'm going to do is use the Wet n Wild. This one is the Goddess Bronzer. And with this one, ooh, this one is really, really like intense. So I'm just going to contour below my chin a lot. I like to contour below my chin a lot. That's just me. I like to do that. And I bring it down okay there you go next thing that i'm gonna do is my blush and my highlight the blush i'm gonna use this one is the milani in delicioso pink it's my favorite one i apply it um from the back to the front that's, that's something that i like to do and i i make sure i stop where i need to stop because although i love blush i just don't want it to look um, want it to look kind of like seamless and natural as possible even though this blush really packs on <laughs> a lot so here we go from the back to the front so there you go and then I like to blend it in and with my bronzer so the next thing I'm going to do is apply my highlight and this one is by Wet n Wild. This is the Reserve Your Cabana. I think they say it's the dupe for the, the balm, Mary Lou. 
Mary Lou highlighter. Yeah, I don't have that one. I wish I could have that one, but I don't. So I have the dupe. So I'm just gonna apply it. I usually like to apply my highlight right here on top, not not on the bottom, right here on the top, and then going up right here on the temples. So yeah, and I'm just using a fan brush. You can use any fan brush, but this one is the Makeup Forever. If you haven't checked out my Sephora and Mac haul, you should definitely check it out. It's in the recent playlist. And if you don't want to see that video, but you want to see a drugstore in, I have a, Sef a CVS and Target haul. So something for for everybody. So there you go. I don't know if you can tell, so I'm going to apply a little bit more. This highlight, it's not, it's not that overpowering, I think. It's really... It looks really nice. So there you go. And then down below my you know, Cupid's ball. There. <laughs> yeah, you can tell a little bit, not too much though. So I'm just going to show you how I do my eyebrows. And the first thing that I like to do is <laughs> I use a spoolie. This one is by MAC, but you can use any spoolie that you may have at home. So I just, you know, go in there. And I'm just going it through. Then a brow pomade. It's in chocolate. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. Now I have two angle brushes right here. Each one has a purpose. This one is the Equal Tool Small Angle Brush. I like to use this one when I want to fill in my eyebrows. If I don't want to do the pomade, I fill them in with Espresso Eyeshadow. Now, that's for every day. But if I really want to fill them in, like today, then I use the Sedona Lace 561 small angle brush right there. You see that? So here we go. There is the chocolate pomade. It's amazing. I know Jay. <laughs> you asked me on she asked me on Twitter. And I think I replied to her last night. It was so late. And I was telling her it does live up to the hype. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> I love Mac, but this one takes the cake okay so here we go you saw how i got i you don't need a lot and i'm just gonna do it in the back of my hand like this okay and then <laughs> and it, believe me it stays there it's very long lasting so i'm gonna get up close as possible and i have to look at the mirror obviously so let me start with this eyebrow what i like to do is i like to line the bottom And then I'm going to do the top. And I'm going to connect it. You see that? Then I'm just going to go in the... And I'm going to flick it with the brush going upwards. Like so. Okay. So there you go. And then I'm just going to turn it to the side, the brush. So, then I'm just I'm just going to make sure it's filled in. But make it look natural. So there you go. You see the difference between this one? no the pomade in this one see the difference and this is natural this is not really dramatic now if you want to do dramatic you can so hey <laughs> that's why not eyebrow i'm gonna do the second eyebrow and then we'll be back okay okay now that my second eyebrow is filled in i just go back and i you know just double check make sure everything is okay and I actually did it very good today. <laughs> this eye, this eyebrow looks more pointed because I naturally go like this. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, anywho. Then after that, uh, I'm hot. Then after that, I'm just going to go in with my spoolie again to make it much more natural looking. And I'm just going to go around. The front is more lighter than the back. This is me. 
because I like it that way. So you can make it more lighter, even though, let's say for instance, you, you did a little bit too dark, you can make it more lighter again. Okay, so here you go. I am going to use my Anastasia. This one is the clear brow gel, just to set my eyebrows. So here we go. So let me maintain in this place my Carmix stuff rubber. I'm gonna use it again. Exaggerate full color lip liner. This is just a lip liner number 63 in Eastern Snob. So yeah. That's the color. Let me give you a swatch. Just in case you're wondering. Uh, the color is it's right there. But with this one I feel I don't like retractable ones. Which is a shame, you know. Because it's a pretty color, you see? So, you have to be careful with this one. Yeah. That's why I, I like non-retractable lip liners. Because it's just not going to break. Yeah, the formula is more softer though than the Maybelline. That's something I noticed. The difference between the lip liners. So after that... I do, I always press my lips and then I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Burst. This is the matte balm and this one is the number 205 Elusive. Elusive? Yeah, Elusive. <laughs> yeah. Pretty pink, I think. Right now we are going to apply the eyeshadow and I'm going to show you which one it is. So the one that I'm going to use today for this look is the uh, Sparkle Till Morning. This from Wet n Wild. This is the one my friend uh, Miss McCullough gave me. It's this one. It's a beautiful teal. If Let's say for instance you don't have that teal. But you have this teal. It's from Post Poster Child. Again from Wet n Wild. <coughs> Anywho. <laughs> this, any teal. Any teal eyeshadow would do. Yeah, and if you don't have a teal base, like I, I don't have a teal base. I'm gonna show you something that's crazy that you can apply your eyeshadow. You know, it doesn't have to be that base. On my lid, I love to use paint on me a lot, and I'm gonna be very generous. Okay, so here we go. With this one, I will apply it everywhere. Then we're gonna apply our second base, which is um, milk. By NYX or any white base if you don't have for me I don't have <sighs> I don't have a teal base so what you can do is use a white base so there you go so I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelid but I'm gonna be careful with this white base I'm just gonna make one li one line I'm just going to fan it upwards so I know I look kind of weirdo, but oh well. Okay, I'm just gonna. Gonna go upwards like so. And. It's just going to enhance the color, really, the white base. That's what it's gonna do. This is the 239. Or any flat brush that you may have at home. And we are going to go with this eyeshadow right here. It's a beautiful teal. And I'm making sure that I'm tapping it off. Because I don't want fallout underneath my eye. So here we go. I'm just going to... I'm going to get close. And I'm going to look down in my mirror at the same time. One. Let me go again. Okay, I'm just gonna apply it again to make it more vibrant. The color, okay. I'm gonna make it more, bring the color more up. My 217 by Matt. And right now, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna mix two colors. I'm gonna mix Swiss chocolate right here. 
Right there, good. And then I'm gonna mix hmm, texture. What I'm gonna do right now is just I'm gonna apply it on the crease. Gonna, I'm gonna blend it inwards and it's gonna change the color. It's really changing the color on me right now. That's what I want. It looks like I applied a different eyeshadow, but I didn't. We are going to use a fluffy brush, the 224, and we are gonna go with soft brown right here. But it has to be a matte eyeshadow. Yeah, because we already did shimmer on our lid and a little bit on the crease. So then I'm just going to blend my edges very nicely. And then after I blend my edges, I'm just going to apply my highlight and to clean my edges as well as the 227 or any flat brush with brulee. Right here. It's really nice, this color. So then, right there. I noticed that some of that color faded out, so I'm going to go back with it. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. The waterline, I'm just going to use this one. It's the Milani in brown. Use any, if you want to use black, you can. But for me, I want to use brown. Okay, so here we go. Getting as close as possible to you. Smudge brush. I'm gonna go with Espresso by Mac, which is this one right here. Okay. I'm gonna use the liquid eyeliner by L'Oreal or any liquid eyeliner that you may have at home. Okay. So then after that. After you apply your liquid eyeliner, then what you're going to do is curl your lashes. And here it is. My lash curl I'm going to use is the Tarte. It's this one. And then I'm just going to apply mascara, which is the Tarte one. Let's camera lashes. I love this one. It's the mini size. It's going to continue doing my eyes and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, so I finished uh, doing my second eye, obviously, of this eyeshadow. I hope you liked it. That's it. I hope you ladies like it, and I'm just going to pull my hair down. Well, yeah. So I forgot to mention about my hair. My hair is in layers, but the way my stylist did it is that she did it, Um, obviously, she cut it first. First, she washed it, and then she put conditioner in it, and then... She cut it straight and then she did it in layers. So I really love it. And then we did the, well, she did the bangs. <laughs> so yeah, it just, because before it was just long and it didn't have no style to it. And it was just, I don't know, it was just a pain in the butt really to <laughs> blow dry wash. I was using too much product and then, and then drying my hair and then straining my hair. It was, it was too much now. I'm not even straining my hair. I'm just blow drying it so yeah so there you go I hope you like this video the get ready with me and the eyeshadow combo together for spring I hope you get to try it out and it's really affordable just to you know the wet and wild products and yeah so my next video is going to be uh, my favorites video for March <laughs> yeah so stay tuned